Welcome back to Silver Eagle Oxmith Las Vegas YouTube channel. In this video today we're going to talk about the Quickset Smart Key Locks and we're going to show you how to reset the lock if you don't have the existing key. Stay tuned. Okay, the Quickset Smart Key, those locks been out there in the market for many years. Uh, the first generation was weak and you could force the lock to be open. The new generation, uh, Quickset actually improved the security. It's the same lock, they just improved the security of the cylinder and the lock. Um, they make it to be grade one by BHMA certification, which is supposed to be the highest residential grade lock. Um, it's give a great security if you ask me. Um, so the lock is kick and drill resistant, plus it's pick resistant and bump resistant as well. I try to pick it many times, it's difficult guys. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. Um, so yes, this lock will give you a good security um, comparing to the old generation of those locks. Now, you can rekey it to your house key. You just need the reset tool, it's a small tool that usually provided with those locks, um, but in case that something went wrong in the process or something go wrong with that and the key is not working or you don't have the existing key and you still want to rekey it to your house key, I can show you right now how to do it the right way without any special tools. Okay, this is how the cylinder looks like when you take it off the lock. Now, what you want to see is the back side and the first thing you need to do is to remove that ring that holding the tailpiece. You can use any tool that you have. I'm using a special tool um, and you remove that ring and there's another ring. The first step, you need to take off the tumbler from the body. So you can use any key that you have for that process. You can try different keys as well because sometimes it can be a little bit annoying. You have to press it on the back just like how I'm doing it right now and slowly you will see that it's going out. Now I'm going to use my one of my pick tools because it's easy but as I said you can use any tool that you have for this process. Okay, so this is how it looks like when it's been removed. This is um, the sidebar and there is a small, very small piece here. Uh, this new generation, they put something to hold it, but some old version, it will pop out. So actually the new one is even easier. Remove it slowly, just like this. Now, you gotta be very careful because there is five side pin here that are very important and they gotta be on the share line just like this. Make sure that it's straight. You're gonna take the key that you wanted to work with that lock, put it in, all the way in, take the sidebar from the bottom, slide it in the way it was and you gotta do it slowly there is a spring here when you put the key in and you put back the sidebar you slide it in and out make sure it slide and you put it back inside the body the same way you took it out and you twist in it to make sure it's working so now we're gonna put back the ring and the tailpiece and we there it is the last thing we're gonna try is to rekey it so we're gonna put the existing key that we match and we're gonna use the reset tool you're gonna take a different key And there it is. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope it helped you. And if you have any questions, you can write a comment right below. 
and you can share your opinion what you would like to see on my future videos. So write a comment right below and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel on the button right there. Just click that button, you can subscribe to my channel and you can check my other video, my previous video about the Quickset Kivo Lock. It's a Bluetooth enabled deadbolt. Check this video, it's pretty cool and I'll see you next week.